Let's talk about Let the Right One In, Damien. I'm very excited to talk about this series with you. Thank you. I, I have been watching it and I can say I'm obsessed. I love family dramas. I love vampire dramas. I was a fan of the movie. Um, so, and I feel like for you, you've been around so long. You've been nominated for Oscars. You've won um, an Oscar in Mexico. So I feel like you don't pick projects willy nilly. So how did you get involved with this series? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been along for quite some time, generations, I should say. <laughs> this is a secret, and this is something that I haven't told anyone. But the reason why I'm doing Let the Right One In is because I'm myself a vampire. Um, no, <laughs> that <laughs> joke, terrible joke. Um, I... Yes, I, 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 you know, but I, I think I've been lucky. I've been, I've said no many, many times to things that I don't believe in, that I don't think, you know, there's nothing uh, that I, that I don't consider that there's um, at least uh, some kind of a challenge or risk that you can take as an actor and then, you know, explore different things. But then I've been very, very lucky because uh, many of the things that I've done, they have come to my to my hands, and uh, and I'm I'm always very grateful about that. Um, this this uh, series, particularly, and I'm with you because I'm a big fan of a uh, good, you know, deep drama, mm -hmm. and I'm a big fan of uh, you know, I I love uh, dramas that are that had to do with with um, family connection and how we. Uh, are always willing to willing and ready to do anything at all for our families and to keep them safe and alive and uh, productive and healthy. Um, and and this is this is one of those you know jewels that you know this is a gift that, that uh, Showtime and Andrew put in my hands uh, because I was as you a uh, big fan of the film already and. Uh, so when they told me that this was going to be an adaptation into a series from the film and the book, I was curious. I was curious to see how they would transform those two beautiful hours into ten, and uh, and I was I was so happy to read the pilot because uh, I understood immediately that uh, Andrew knew exactly how to uh, not only extend this story into 10 hours but to make it richer and uh more exciting and uh um, and, and even more powerful than it already is and uh, even sexier you know and uh yeah I, I i see a lot of that and i i, I so I, I fell in love with the material right away and um and then as the cast you know uh began gathering and uh and uh we began getting you know the yes from this beautiful group of uh, actors um uh it was it was it, like like uh i was i was celebrating every day you know as, as time uh kept passing by and then the result you know we're so happy with it and uh i couldn't be more proud of uh of this work uh and what you see on the screen is is the result of hard work for five, six months or so, uh, even before, you know, with the scripts and this and that, and then after, you know, with putting it together and all that, is the result of hard work for many, many, many people, not only our producers of Showtime and Tomorrow Studios and Andrew and our directors, you know, led by Steve mm -hmm. and uh, and the wonderful, you know, work of our cast, of our cast. But the crew, we, we had a tremendous crew and you cannot do a show like this under uh you know the heavy circumstances that we shot it in um um it was a long winter in new york and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, night shoots it was physically mentally and emotionally demanding and uh so you can only do that if you have a phenomenal army around you a phenomenal platoon covering your back yeah and i love that this series is still tackling a lot of the themes of uh, the source material. And one of those that 
is kind of a, I think a good, a nice change is the theme of like parents and the ultimate sacrifice that you make for your children. Um, having to delve so deeply into something like that, has that affected your personal life in any way? Um, not at all, because, uh, you know, we actors are trained to uh, enter uh, any given circumstance and any given uh, storyline and, uh, and any given type of character and enter, you know, uh, it fully and deeply uh, and then be able to step out of it too, you know, mm -hmm. continue with your, with your life. You know, great actors such as Robert De Niro or Jackie Nicholson or Middle Street or Al Pacino or uh, Dustin Hoffman, Gene Hagman, they they would be, you know, they 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 would have been checked, they would have been checked into a mental hospital a long time ago if you know you weren't able to transit through it safely. Um it is a very, very uh powerful material and uh, our biggest concern was to keep our children safe uh ian and, and madison mm -hmm. uh to make sure that they will never take anything home uh, and so we we kept the whole thing very light and uh to make a horror story is always more fun than to watch it for me because i'm not a big fan of uh, the genre and to make it is it's just a, it's, it's a joy you know it's a celebration every day we go to work and every time they say action it's a it's a full celebration i i am different i love the horror genre <laughs> i love being scared but i think what what this series does so well is it humanizes everyone everyone gets a great whether it's a backstory or relationships and dynamics together and one of my favorites is between mark and andrew the two best friends you know, the Godfather, because in the beginning, the way they build this, you're like, why is he so angry? And then I got a peek at the episode seven <laughs> and we get so much revealed. So can you talk to me about Mark and Andrew's dynamic and, you know, working together as actors? You know, I have to say, I'm happy to let you say Mark and Andrew, because Andrew and I are very good friends now. And, and I know you mean Mark and Zeke. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, no, but Andrew is, you know, let's put it this way. Andrew is every character, you know, as, as the writer. So um, uh, um, Zeke, you know, played wonderfully by uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think um, I think it's one of those uh, relationships that are so moving mm -hmm. because uh, we all have a, a, a best friend in our lives. We all have that one person who becomes not only our best friend, but our conscious almost. Um, he's always there for good and bad. And, and as you said, it's very interesting how in the beginning of the series, we're like, oh, wait a second, what happened here? You know, why is he so angry at Mark? And, and I have to say, engaging into a series, it's it, it demands a lot from the audience. You know, it demands a lot of concentration. It demands uh, a lot of presence. We want you present with your five sense senses. Uh, probably not the taste, but you will taste some of it too. Uh, but we make a series of uh, promises on episode one and two and three and four. And then if we are lucky to have your attention, if you come along with us on this journey, you're, you'll, uh, those promises will be fulfilled and you, you will be happy you stay with us. And that happens toward you know, episode six, seven and eight. And episode seven is when, boom, you know, we are hit by this thunder uh, that makes everything, you know, clear and, uh, and makes sense of every promise we made. Uh, I have to say that episode seven is one of the most powerful materials I've ever read, first when I read it, that I ever had the privilege of uh, 
performing and then watching it. It was an emotional roller coaster to watch it, to see the final result. Um, everyone is so good in the show. Everybody is so perfect in the show. I have to say, you know, our casting director did a phenomenal job. Uh, and we are very lucky to have everyone on board. And, uh, and now, from this point on, now that we have your attention, that we, we have been honored with, you know, people's attention, buckle up. Because from this point on, all the way to episode seven, or to episode ten, which you know is when we wrap the, the this uh, first season, you will be amazed, you will be moved, and you will be hungry for more. I think that is the perfect way to end this interview, Demi. And thank you so much thank for you. your time. Thank you for your know. talent. Of course, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. That's that's very kind of you to say. Thank you so much. On behalf of my mother, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And make sure everyone checks out Let the Right One In on Showtime on Sundays. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Take you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.